Hi, I'm Tara Crank from Dryad Bushcraft. I'm here today with Coid Sale to show you how to make laundry detergent from ivy. This is an effective recipe that I use to wash my clothes with. It's really cheap to make and it has a low environmental impact. The first thing we need to do is go and collect some ivy. Let's go! When you collect your ivy leaves, bring with you a bag and if you have sensitive skin, it's worth wearing gloves too because ivy can be irritant for some people. Now, ivy likes to grow in shaded areas like woodlands, along hedgerows and sometimes even individual trees. We've got a perfect example here in this woodland of the ivy forming a symbiotic relationship climbing up this tree. The mature leaves tend to have a more diamond shape to them and you can see that the this one has an umbilifer of berries as well whereas the the juvenile leaves they come out with three to five lobes on them now we're going to be collecting the mature leaves here and for this recipe you're going to need 80 leaves bit of a misunderstood plant. Many people think that it kills trees by climbing up them, when in actual fact, on healthy trees, it doesn't harm them. The only issue is when the trees are already weakened. Ivy supports at least 50 different types of wildlife, including birds through having berries through the winter. It provides food where there wouldn't otherwise be food. It's a late flowering plant, so it supports pollinators from September to November as well. Not only that, but moth caterpillars and butterfly caterpillars love it too. I've got my 80 leaves now. You're gonna need a heat source for the next part. You can use a hob for this, but I'm gonna go build a fire now. Now that we've got our heat source sorted out, I'll talk you through the other equipment that you're going to need to make your ivy detergent. You're going to need a pot that you can boil something in. You'll need a litre of water and a container that's going to hold your ivy laundry liquid afterwards. I've got an oven mitt to keep my hands safe from the heat. And in order to strain it at the end, it's useful to have a colander, but it's essential to have a piece of fabric or something to put it through in order to filter it. You can use muslin cloth, you can use a tea towel, but my favorite is a pair of tights. Now that you've got your equipment sorted, it's time to get started on the process of making the laundry detergent. It's super easy, as I said before, so come and have a look. I'm gonna get my pot. and take my leaves, you can do them a few at a time. Just rip them into tiny shreds and as you do it, really push and press on them. So what we're doing here is releasing what's inside the plant cells. And in this case, in Ivy's case, it is very high in saponins, which are the molecules that are in soap. What they do is they bond with the water and the fats and act as a surfactant or a surface active agent. That just means that they, they take away the oils and they can destroy the membranes in bacteria. Once you've shredded all your ivy leaves and they're ready to go, add your litre of water and then we're going to be cooking it. What you need to do is bring it to the boil 
and let it boil for 15 minutes with the lid on. This has been boiling for 15 minutes now, so let's have a look at it, closer look. You can see the leaves have gone a bit of a brownish green in there, and as it's still hot, they'll continue to go a bit browner. What I'm going to do with this now is leave it for 24 hours with the lid on. So just leave it somewhere room temperature to cool. This has been here for 24 hours and it's ready to strain now. You can see the leaves are a bit of a yellowish brown and you can see that the water has gone a sort of cloudy yellow. This is my container that I'm going to be putting the finished product in. So it's time to get your cloth or your tights and your colander. It's good to do the colander straining first so that you've got the handful of leaves that you can just wring out in the cloth. Stretch your tights over the top of your pot or you can put your cloth over and attach it on with a, a band or get someone else to hold it. Get your mixture that's been left to set for 24 hours and you're just gonna pour it straight in. I like to put on a pebble or a weight of some sort so that it weighs the, the fabric down and it's just gonna go straight through into the container underneath. Get all of your ivy material and you're going to put it right onto the fabric. Once you've got all your ivy on the top, take off your cloth or your tights and this is where you need to give it a real good squeeze. You want to get as much of that liquid in as possible. And then you can have a look in there and that is our detergent once you've strained your detergent it's ready to use so we can put it in a bottle or a container whatever's whatever you've got ideally something reusable so that we're having a low environmental impact because we've only used one litre of water to make this and it's got a low carbon footprint because I haven't travelled very far in order to get my ivy. Um, store it in a fridge ideally or somewhere cool and dark and it should last up to three weeks. You can see here, if I give it a shake, it's already foaming. To use your washing liquid, put 200 millilitres into the liquid compartment of your washing machine and use it just like any other washing liquid. Uh, if you've got particularly dirty clothes, put in a little bit more. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Tara Crank and if you liked it, please like and subscribe to the Coitlail channel where you can find more videos like this.